Hey guys, Thunderset here, bringing you all new Sylvans. They've been unbanned. It's fantastic. Marshleaf, our boy, used to be limited to two. He would compete with Rose Lover. You really didn't want that, and it was just terrible. No one played him anymore. But he's unbanned. Rose Lover's back. Sylvans are back, guys. We have some new cards in here. Great, great stuff. So, we're using Alistair. Three copies of him, one copy of Evocation, because we have a Water Marshall Leaf, we have a Water Lotus Swing, we have Earth Guardi Oaks, and we have Earth Rose Lovers. So, Invocation helps us get Rose Lovers in the graveyard, it makes use of our Marshall Leafs in the graveyard, we get our boys out, we get the 3000 Beater, and we get the Bane of Duel Links right now, Cocteus, he's just tilting everyone. It's the exact reason why we have Share the Pain. Share the Pain is a fantastic way to get rid of Cocteus if he's uh, giving you problems. It doesn't target, it doesn't destroy, it doesn't do any of that nonsense. You just tribute them, they're gone. As long as they're the only one on the field, wildly effective. And you can tribute something like Rose Lover or World Carryaway Champion, get them in your graveyard, get some effects going. Very, very cool stuff. So other than that, we're doing the basic Sylvan combos. I'll assume you know them. They're pretty old, so it wouldn't be too surprising if you don't. Mushroom excavates 5. Martial Leaf excavates 2. This boy excavates 3. I think he'll excavate uh, however many cards on the field. And they all do something different when they're excavated. He'll destroy back row. He'll destroy monsters. Uh, he returns to your deck. He returns to your deck from your graveyard. And uh, he will... Discard a plant monster and special summon himself. All very useful. We're also using brand new Spore, who wasn't around when Sylvans were hot. He's fantastic in this deck. If this card is in your graveyard, you just banish another plant. And then uh, he comes out, he absorbs their level. So it's one plus whatever he banished. We're using it to summon things like Star Eater and Scrap Dragon. Mostly Star Eater, since you get huge, huge numbers out of this little Spore. It's great, great stuff. And of course, we have Rose Lover making you immune to traps. We're using T Titanial, the Princess of Camellias. She was not around when Sylvans were hot. She's very strong. During either player's turn, when a card or effect that targets cards on the field is activated, you contribute one face up plant monster, negate the activation, destroy it. She's probably the strongest plant we got, and that's a pretty good effect because we usually have our field pretty clogged with all these monsters. So, Wild deck, guys. I love it. Sylvans are back. Invoker throws this deck over the top. Synchro plays are insane. You'll see a bunch of Star Eaters in the replays, so it's all been really, really fun. I love Sylvans. I'm glad to see him back. Glad it was unbanned. Hope you guys enjoy the replays, and thanks for watching. Okay, fighting Alexis. Going second. I don't actually remember what this is. Using Care Weed Champion, Share the Pain. But we're, I feel like we weren't always able to see sleeves in replays. Are we suddenly able to see re sleeves? I'll have to go watch some older videos of mine. So, anyway, we're fighting a Neos. He has Dragon Magic, Dumped a Bacon Saber, has a Neos. We're using our Alistair. He cleverly banishes our Invocation. That's actually a play I make too. So most people just run one invocation, now it's completely done. Here, we're gonna bring out our mage boy though. Now Rose Lover brings out our Caraway Champion, we're gonna share the pain on the Caraway Champion, get rid of the dragon, swing into the Brave Neos. He uh, stops, he uses Master of Fusion to get a fusion card, Polymerization. Fuses out a Dark Cavalry, Dark Cavalry is gonna swing right over me, no problem. So how are we going to make a play with just these two cards, guys? We're going to use Carrot Weight to dump a Rose Lover. That's going to special summon a Guardi Oak. Guess what? Guardi Oak's going to dump a Spore. So we didn't really get lucky. We didn't get any Martial Leaves to pop our opponent. So he swings right into our Guardi Oak. But look who's here, guys. Spores throws away the Guardi Oak. That's 7. 7 plus 4 is 11, guys. The Almighty Star Eater. Then we normal summon Alistair, but we don't have any more Invocations. So he's a 1k beat stick. He had to suicide into the Dark Cavalry. 
our opponents not getting much. We know that's like a Shazank or Flip Frog. That's why we attack with the Carrot Weight first. Because he doesn't want to return the Alistair, so the Alistair is going to keep poking at him. Finally scoops. Sylvan's just strong arming all the latest meta guys. Great, great stuff. Okay, here we are fighting a Jack Atlas going first. All these replays. A bunch of these replays are going to be going first. Because this deck loves going first, guys, for this very boy. Co Mushroom. Here we are fighting Dark Lords. Ixshell into a Banishment. Typical Dark Lord stuff. Using Contact. Setting a back row. But we have the Fearsome Co Mushroom. He chooses not to negate his effect. We hit one Martial Leaf. Hit two Martial Leaf. Hit a Carrot Weight. Hit a Lotus Swain. So we're going to use a Martial Leaf, double up on the Martial Leaf just for good nature. Now Lotus Swain's going to return our Martial Leafs to the deck, so super useful. She's going to get one last search off before she's done for. Searches another shell. We're going to pop her. Now we're going to normal summon our Invoker. Use Invoker to dump our Rose Lover into our hand. And there's our Magellan. Now we use Rose Lover for our Guardian Oak. And he still thinks he's fine because he's going to try to gain 3000. But we're not done yet. We're going to Co Mushroom that back row. Uh, doesn't actually do anything. Now we're going to use Invocation, get Alistair back. And don't forget about the Caraway Champion. Here he comes, right in the middle. Guy finally scoops. Get out of here, Dark Lords. Post ban list. Great stuff, guys. Yeah. Okay, fighting a Bandit Keith. Going first. Like I said, this deck has a uh, pretty good first plays. First turn plays. Using Grit. Honestly, Grit didn't come up too much. So, uh, our Mushroom Boy, he's the one you want first turn. Here we're fighting six, or six, and we're fighting, uh, vampires. So, it's six vampires. I keep seeing six samurai. Samurai Skull is no longer ban listed either, so that is a little boost to vampires. I don't know if it's enough to bring them back. Okay, so here I excavated five cards. I got a co mushroom. Excavating cards activates Vampire Kingdom, but I destroy Vampire Kingdom, so its effect is negated. Now we normal summon Guardi Oak. We uh, search for three, and that's what we wanted. We wanted that Rose Lover. So here she comes. Normal summon or special summon uh, Titanial gets Treacherous Trap Hole. She will not die. She's immune to traps thanks to Rose Lover. He's gonna die, so that's why we uh, tribute him off anyway. Here she tries to floodgate, but I am immune to traps. She does not know Rose Lover, guys. It's all Rose Lover. Here he tries to Canadia, but again, I am immune to traps, so you, you just can't touch it. Here Familiar comes out. Tries to bring Vampire's Grace out. Bit of a misplay without our kingdom. So he he has to backtrack. Bring out his retainer. Searches takeover. Sets the takeover. Here we normal summon a Rose Lover. He's gonna play his takeover, get a kingdom out, and special summon Grace. So we swing into Grace. Swing into the retainer. Not much he can do with two cards. Even with Switcheroo's help, it's not gonna be of much help. So he's got a scoop. Oh no, he doesn't even- there's the scoop. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, finding Yami Yugi. Going first, let's see what he's got for us. This deck, of course, has excellent first turn plays. I would say, actually, the first turn plays are probably better than the second turn plays with this boy right here. Komashrumo, he's the man. He was dominant in a time where, uh, face downs weren't popular. So here we flip him face up. He mills five. We mill a marsh leaf and two mushrooms and a rose lover. <coughs> All very good stuff to mill. So we get to destroy the back row, destroy that first monster. It was a Shazank. Now we get a normal summon our Alistair. We have an invocation now. We get to get rid of his own Shazank, who was an Earth, for our Magella. Now we're gonna rose lover out our carrot weight champion. Use a vacation to get our Alistair back. We just have all sorts of lethal, guys. We have lethal with just our Magella. Absolutely insane, perfect 
Sylvan excavations. It's not even fair, guys. They used to terrorize the meta way back when, and here it is again. Great stuff. Okay, here's Yami Yugi. Going first again, guys. Sylvan is a deck that loves to go first. And this boy is the reason why. We also have Share the Pain. Very, very useful deck. So here we have a Lemon Magician Girl. We're gonna flip up a Mushroom. Search 5. That's 4. We hit a Komush with the back row. Now here comes Spore. He's gonna banish our Tatiana. That's 8 plus 1 is 9. Plus 2 from our Komush is a Star Eater. Here comes Star Eater. But wait, we gotta set that Rose Lover. Tribute or share the pain. Tribute off that Lemon Girl. Then we get Rose Lover to bring out Lotus Swain. Absolutely animal plays, guys. Just Lemon Girls, Magician Girls are usually pretty hard to get around. That was nothing. It's just absolutely crazy plays. We didn't even use Invoker there. So just love Sylvan, guys. So glad they're unbanned. So glad they're back. I don't think you're going to see them on the ladder going crazy or anything again. But I'm definitely going to be playing around with them. So I'm super enjoying it. Super, super glad they're unbanned. Hope you guys like the videos. Thanks for watching.